55. Believe it or not, Mikhail Baryshnikov turns the big 4-0 tomorrow. And here's a tribute of sorts from Falco to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who was born today 232 years ago. Neil Diamond turned 47 last Sunday. But for durability, this week's prize has to go to Eartha Kitt, who at the age of 60 is still recording hits. To finish off with, here's a memory jogger. Ross Bagdasarian, the man who was the chipmunks, celebrates his birthday today. Okay, Simon? Okay, Theodore? Okay. Okay, Alvin? Alvin! Alvin! Okay, and it's congratulations to all you other Aquarians celebrating your birthday this week. Neil Solomon and the Passengers were just one of our popular local groups who had something to celebrate last year with a hit single, Hold On. Beat the Gun was the single released by Stuart Irving last year and is still doing very well on the local charts.
up in a moment, more from the local music scene with a... Giving an opportunity to previously unrecorded artists. Ten artists were selected for this breakthrough album, and next we have Gollum MacDonald and the group Mac the Knight performing his original composition, All Dressed Up. <laughs> McDonald and Mac the Knight currently appearing at Jaggers. Just one of the popular Sydney session groups which included a special envoy and their original composition, Alter Ego. Alter Ego. Sean Fury's Scheme of Things. Airtight from the group Woke Up Wasted. How the scheme does the name thing right? Life's so short, there's just one shot. I hate what I see, but I. And of course, the popular jazz collection by Jack Smith.
Jack Smith and just some of the Sydney Sessions artists who set out to prove that the South African music scene is alive and well. And rumour has it that there may be a Sun City Sydney Sessions concert in store in February. Also a new Sydney Sessions album later this year.